morning, everyone. Now, every new parent wants their child to sleep tight, feel good, and stay positive. Well, according to the feng shui mommy, Bailey Gaddis, creating a calm, peaceful, and tranquil children's room is the way to do just that. Bailey, thank you so That's much for joining us. My pleasure. This is wonderful. This, this spread is amazing. But I have to admit to you, I don't even really know what feng shui means. So help. <laughs> it's, essentially, it is just a way of harmonizing yourself with the energy around you. And it's easier than it sounds. It's not as, as metaphysical as it sounds. So one of the main things you can do is eliminate clutter. And what you can do is touch every item in your home, and if it does not spark joy, go ahead and release it. And some people say, well, what about my broom? I need it, but it doesn't spark joy. <laughs> but, you know, the act of cleaning your home and having that space does spark joy. So items that you use on a regular basis or love are keepers. And before you have that baby, I really recommend doing an overhaul of your house so you can get rid of anything that's not essential. So, again, no clutter in the nursery or the rest of the home. And then color. Color has a huge impact on our mood. So in the nursery, when you're selecting wall colors, you can choose your favorite color, but make sure it's a really soft tone. And different colors have different meanings. So yellow promotes cheerfulness, a sense of connectedness. Exactly. There we go. I am all the cheerful and connectedness oh, no. today. Such a good mood today. <laughs> it is. It's the it. color. Right. And then pinks, they promote curiosity, creativity. Blues and greens are really grounding, connect baby to nature. They have a, a calming energy. We, we all want baby to be calm. <laughs> Right? Um, and then red, we want to avoid red because it's really stimulating. So during playtime, you can bring out toys that have a lot of red in them to energize baby, but keep them out of sight when it's time for, for nap time oh. and bedtime. So we paint the walls, we pick a beautiful color as to what the, the mood we want it to, and then right. it's time to maybe put the furniture in, the crib and everything. Right. And so with furniture, you really want to select wooden furniture because that has that, that grounding effect that we want, and only choose the essentials. Some Sometimes we get excited and we just stuff the room with a lot of furniture. You want to promote a sense of spaciousness, and this will actually encourage baby's sense of exploration and curiosity. And so many people ask, like, well, how do I place this and that? Mm -hmm. My main tip is with the crib. You don't want to have the crib pushed up flush against the wall unless that wall is directly behind baby's head. Because the idea is you want that energy to be able to circulate around baby. Wow. Yeah. I'm absolutely picturing a bedroom right now and trying Are you to figure making out how I'm going to <laughs> do this. Because it, right. it, it is easier than I thought it was going to be, which is really right. cool. But right. what are some other tips that we can use in our so, nursery? So lighting. Lighting is a big one. And natural lighting during the day is the best. So go ahead and open up those blinds during the day. And then in the evening, it's best to have three different sources of lighting at three different levels. So you could have two small tabletop lamps like this one and maybe a floor lamp that's out of baby's reach and then in the evenings when it's time for bed you can have a small little night light like that one that's a pink Himalayan salt crystal lamp and it gives off just enough light for those uh, 3 a.m. poopy diaper changes. <laughs> <laughs> and those are, are frequent so. Right right well and speaking of poopy diapers you want to have fresh air in the room so when it's nice outside go ahead and open up the windows but place a window guard in the window if baby is mobile so they don't crawl out yeah. and then you can have a few air purifying hanging plants this is a spider plant some other great ones are bamboo peace lily and again if possible, have them hanging so baby can't get into them. And then essential oils are also really great at creating either a calming effect or that stimulating effect. So I have an essential oil diffuser up there. If it's nap time, bedtime, put a few drops of lavender, chamomile oil. When it's time to play or mom is really tired, right. you can uh, put a few drops of peppermint or orange oil on your pulse points. And if you don't have a diffuser, mix a few drops in your in your palm with a carrier oil like coconut or jojoba oil and you can massage that on the soles of baby's feet. Oh, we actually have an entire segment today devoted just to essential oils, so Perfect. that obviously Perfect. does work. Now, yeah. what about 
I guess like decorating, if we want to put something just visual. Yes, yes. So I have a few auspicious lucky items down at the end. One is a baby safe mirror, and that helps to promote the natural lighting in the space, and it also encourages baby social development when they can oh. look at that, that baby in the mirror. And then I have a wind chime and a light refracting crystal. If you hang those in the window where they can pick up that natural breeze, the natural light, they help to pull in kindness, magic, warmth, and a lot of positivity into the nursery. And any of these are great ideas for baby shower gifts. Yes. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So we just helped. My sister has her baby shower this weekend. I Perfect. think I just thought of a last one. You can have the hanging plant. Oh, that's <laughs> I can't take it back with me. <laughs> no, no, this is great. Wow, this yeah. is really amazing. You obviously know what you're talking about. Thank so you. any last minute tips before we let you go today? You know, the rule of thumb is use whatever makes you feel good. With colors, with items, you want to trust that intuition. Just be very mindful, you know what I mean? When you're doing something, know that everything has a place and a purpose and you want it to be good for babies. So thank you so much, exactly. Bailey, for My coming. Pleasure. This was so thank adorable. You. Now, if you want even more tips and guides from the feng shui mommy, you can visit yoursereneLife.com.